Hey motion designers, are you ready to level up your design game? Well, buckle up, because today I'm going to show you Game Changer, the brand new 2D text box presets in After Effects 2024. That's right, no more hours code, no more frustration, no more searching for outdated tutorials uh, just to put a simple box around your text. This is a huge improvement that uh, we've all been waiting for. This is going to change the way we work. Let me create a new composition and I click OK, then grab the text tool and write the text you like. So let me write 2D text box preset. Grab the selection tool and then go to align, align to center, vertically and horizontally. Then go to effects and control and look for 2D text box mask and effects. Drag it over your text layer or double click if it's already selected and you see that you have a bunch of new properties added to the effect controls panel. You can decide to measure the text uh, during the whole composition or just once at a single time if you need. Then you have the scaling parameter, you can make it bigger, the background or smaller, but you can also decide to have a uh, different scales for the vertical and horizontal scale. Scalar region is by default the center, but you can decide to move it to upper left or whatever corner you like. You can add an overall padding, which adds space around your text or individual settings to left, right, or top or bottom. It's adaptable continuously, so if you change the size of the text, you see that the background grows. As I said, you can play individually with each direction, left, right top and bottom. But let's move to the offset. Maybe you want your text to be closer to the bottom or closer to the top or rather to the left or the right. You can play it with the offset. Let's jump to the fill section. So we can play with the background. Well, first thing we can change the background colors. Of course, I love red since I was a child, so let me choose that. And then you can invert the color. You can add a horizontal feather if you like, like that. You can do the same with a vertical, see how nice effect that can be useful sometimes. And then, of course, you can set the opacity if you want to see what's behind. You can even hide completely the background if you just want the stroke. Talking about stroke, let's see how we can configure that. We can change the color for sure. Then you can change the brush size if you want it thicker or thinner. Let me change again the color because with this dark red you cannot really see what's happening. So let's go maybe with some yellow. Yeah, yellow is the right one for now. So brush size we said. Then you have the brush hardness if you want it hard or a little bit blurred like that. Yeah, no problem, you choose. Then, of course, you have the opacity as for the background fill. And then uh, here, here, you have the start and end. You have already understood what nice animations you can do with uh, playing with the trimming start and end. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, we are creative. You can add, for instance, a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Then you go to the layer, press U to show the keyframes, and then you move on the timeline and you add another keyframe with another value, 100. The first one was zero, and then you put uh, Easy Ease with F9, and voila, you can have a nice animation. Finally, you can uh, play with the spacing of the brush strokes. Uh, I don't think I will ever use this, but maybe there is some interesting use case, uh, you know. By the way, I almost forgot one of the coolest properties. So let's go back to the beginning and let's open the round corners group. You see, you can have round corners on the stroke. So on your background, you can have rough corners, but you can set them individually as well. And you can set also the direction of the corners. You see, you can do this strange, I don't know, middle age things, it looks like that. And you can set individually on the corners. What cool is that? Yeah, I think we can play with that a lot.
So at the beginning, I said that the text box is continuously adapting to the size of the text. So let's create a text animator to demonstrate this, because you will trust me more when you see it. So let's go to the text layer, let's select animate, and then maybe we can animate the scale. So you can set the scale to zero and then open the range selector. And we can play with the start. We can add some keyframes. And so let's put it, set it to zero and then move it a few seconds later and set it to 100. And then you can see that, voila, it's adapting. Well, I think that at the beginning it's a little bit out of the box. I think that's because we have played before with the offset and with the padding, so let's set back the padding left to zero and voila, you can see that now it's appearing great. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, you can put a like or comment if you have any question. Thank you very much and see you next time guys.